International Beauty Pageant Organization gives franchise to various countries, which task franchise holders to organize a national pageant to select the best model whom would represent them in the world pageant. International major pageants like Miss Universe, Miss World, Miss Earth, and Miss International Organization have been badly affected by the coronavirus pandemic which has compelled the Miss Universe organization into accepting 2019 run-ups of their various international pageants to compete in the 2020 edition. COVID-19 has become a global pandemic that the world is reckoning with. This has affected a lot of things. It has put a lot of things to a halt from the world of business to the world of entertainment. The pageant industry is as well not an exception to this. Bobby the brand can Joseph, an international pageant director from Namibia, is here to tell us how the pageant directors across the world are dealing with. Okay, so I understand um, the Miss World pageant is actually selecting ladies, not only Miss World, but some of the international pageants talk of Miss World and Miss Universe. They are through selection instead of organizing pageants just like um, you used to do. Uh, select the most beautiful girl in your country through a beauty contest. But this time around, they have instructed some of the directors to select uh, ladies that they want to represent. And some names have even come up. Um, other beauty queens from some countries who have represented their countries in, let's say, Miss Universe, would represent their country in Miss World this year. So if someone represents um, their country in Miss World in 2019, they will be representing their country in Miss Universe in 20. How true is that? How feasible is that information? Uh, um, well, the thing is that I do not work with either of the pageants. So far, I haven't been able to work with the Miss World or the Miss Universe organization. It's already owned within my country. Um, but the pageant community has been, there has been, at first, it was just sort of rumors that the Miss Universe organization, especially, have instructed their franchise holders in each country to select their first runner up of 2019 to then to be appointed as their Miss Universe representative this year. I know that Panama has done so. They have appointed their first runner from last year as, as the Miss Universe Panama for 2020. Um, and it, so there's so much truth in it uh, because also the fact that the, there's kind of spends. I also have I also know that the Miss Miss MBGN, the most beautiful girl in Nigeria pageant, which owns the both rights to Miss World and uh, Miss Universe. Uh, also I, I heard that they also are gonna swipe their queens. Uh, because the queen that wins was to Miss World and she was in Miss World last year's top five. So there's a possibility that she possibly might be the Miss Universe in Nigeria for this year. And then the girl that went to Universe last year would be the one going to world. So there is so much truth in it. It's just that I'm not sure all countries are practicing it, but it is a, a, a rule that was put out in it was on social media by the South African, the Miss South Africa creative director, Vessel, uh, Benner Vessel, who said that they were actually instructed to do that. If they can't host a pageant, and they should select their first runner-up to do so, or rather pick a girl that they think would be able to represent, either be the girl going to represent their country, Miss International, Miss Earth, or whatever pageants. That's just someone with they believe is able to possibly represent their country very well. But however, in my country, um, two days ago, there was it was a public announcement that our national pageant has been for the year, but none of them, none, nothing has been made known that if we've been our first runner-up, from last year to the pageant, nothing has been made known. So we're waiting for possibly a possible confirmation. But right now, they did confirm that the Mr. Mibia pageant canceled for 2020. Bobby, the brand, can just explain why selecting runner-ups or swapping queens to represent via countries is a good decision taken by the various international pageant organizations. Okay, so as an international pageant director, Bobby, um, do you think this decision is is right? Do you think is the best way, or do you think it's um, most of the girls that have been selected stand a chance of? Uh, we think this whole idea is uh, just the best decision the pageant directors are taking. Let's say the international pageant directors, I beg your pardon. Um, do you think is is the right thing to do? Why not scrap the the pageant for? 
I mean, the thing is that also it goes into well, um, um, another aspect of like, if I can speak for my country, um, we are currently on lockdown till the end of June. So that's also not really established if it, the lock if our lockdown will end then or it will be or it will be extended. We have no idea because um, in our country our cases are also not that much, but we do have a few cases and some of them are really recovering. I know that in South Africa they have almost up to nine thousand cases, but I know that there is gonna be a Miss South Africa pageant. Whether it's gonna I mean, we have they haven't been announced if the pageant will happen physically, they're gonna host the pa- an event or they're just going to select their girls. But I know that the entries have opened and they're going to select the queen this year. I, I personally feel that um, it's a good decision um, because I feel like the girls that were first on up in last year's pageant, they were good enough to be first on up, meaning that they were good enough to be in second place. Um, for countries like uh, South Africa, really, I do get why they are hosting a pageant. And I mean, they're trying to keep up a, a sort of a... Um, of an energy that they always, or the energy of girls they produce for the Miss Universe pageant. Uh, but I really do not decision. I mean, it's just basically this golden opportunity, and it's also not going to be very expensive organization itself because now they don't have to cater for event logistics. They don't have for this stuff. But even if if a pageant can host an online sort of search or whatever, that also is advisable. But then also, how much credibility? Things like walking, things like on stage presence, things like interviews, things to play. And these are things that are right now banned because of the whole social distance. So I feel it's actually a good decision if they from last year. But I also what would also not have to consider is this girl really good because, um, you know, when, when it comes to this, a lot of politics, sometimes these girls are picked because they have a, someone in the panel, not necessarily because they are that good. Uh, but then if they are, then really it's, it, it shouldn't be a problem because then it's just like sending another good girl to the pageant. At least they know how she, how her stage presence is. They and they know how her interview skills are. They understand all sort of kind of just coming her. And it's also for me, I feel it's an opportunity to kind of send girls who are ready because then they would have been prepared for a year long and then just not be six months before this to compete on the Miss Universe stage. So I think it's a good idea, but I also do not really, um, not, um, I don't want to put away the idea of also selecting agent. I mean, if a country can do it, they can definitely select host a pageant and then select their queen.